did a uh, work on my legs and um, I decided to put this video um, because some people have been asking me to put some of my workouts on, uh, on YouTube but it's nothing special so um, I usually have my camera with me just in case I think of something so uh, I wasn't planning on recording my workout but I did uh, two prior uh, routines which was uh, five repetition um, five sets of ten on the leg extension per leg um, individually um, at that time there were a lot of people I wasn't even thinking of uh, recording anything and uh, right after that after I did my leg extension I went to the glute machine and I did I think four sets of ten on the glute machine and uh, once I got out of the machine the gym was kind of empty then I was like oh okay so since I'm gonna do uh, since I have more routines to do let me just pull out my camera so uh, I decided to record started recording on the Smith machine um, I really didn't go heavy on um, the Smith machine actually all the workout that I did um, that day I didn't really go heavy on anything um, right now I think I'm using uh, 20 pound on the Smith machine 10 10 on both sides um, I'm just going halfway um, I think I did maybe four or five sets, but uh, I did a uh, couple halfway moves. I think I did four uh, repetitions, uh, but two sets. Um, each uh, set is counting, um, it's, each repetition is counted when I come up. Um, when I do halfway, I think I did ten uh, going halfway, and then I come up and I go back down. I do 10 halfway and then come back up. So each time I come up, it's count as one rep. So that's how I sort of count it as uh, uh, four, uh, four repetitions. You know, I'm trying to work my quad and my glutes a little bit more. Four sets here. And right after that, I did uh, a little bit more weight. I think it's just five pounds on each side, um, which is 10. And a total of uh, what is it, 10, 30 pounds, and uh, I did the same thing. So I pretty much each time I finish one set, I added uh, more weight uh, on the Smith machine. And I think at the end I went over because I kept usually when I'm editing this the videos, I forget how many how much weight that I put in it. So at the end I ended up uh, with you know, use the camera to show the weight. That's just a reminder for myself. But it's not that much weight. So I think right now I can see there's uh, 25, so it's 50, 50 pounds. Uh, 25 on both sides. So I added another 10. Just 45 pounds. Usually when I'm doing a lot of uh, repetitions, I really don't use a lot of weight. I'm not trying to build strength. I mean, once in a while, I'll go heavy. But uh, most of the time, I really don't go heavy on a lot of the weights. Right now, I'm just doing regular uh, squats. I think I did 10 repetitions on it. This gym is kind of funny. Uh, at some point, the gym gets really packed, and then it seems like everybody leaves at the same time. I was like surprised. I was in the corner doing my uh, glutes on the glute machine, and when I finished, I got up and uh, I got out of the machine, and I was like, "What happened to everybody?" I didn't know. Uh, everybody left. So this is where I'm, I'm just showing how much weight that I put. There's a 10, plus a 5, another 10, so it's like 35. 35 pounds on each side, which is 70. 
now I just I'm gonna work my um, calf and I added a 25 pound 35 plus 25 on both side you know 60 and uh, total I guess uh, 120 I'm just gonna do just two sets so there's 60 on both sides Together is like 120. And I only went heavy on this one because uh, it's just my calf uh, for my calf. So um, I hardly work on it, but when I do, I go heavy on it. I didn't even count. I think I did uh, 10, either 10 or 12 uh, repetitions, but just two sets. I then because I'm gonna do more calf uh, workout on the, the hammer strength uh, machine, which is right behind me actually. So I'm taking a little rest. And I'll go right back at it again. Um, on that day, I didn't really, uh, I didn't do uh, lunges or deadlifts. Um, I sort of came a little bit late. I wanted to uh, leave a little bit earlier because I did a lot of walking with the, uh, with my son um, earlier, and uh, my husband came home a little bit late. So by the time I get to the gym, it was a little bit, you know, a little bit. I think an hour later than my usual time. So I didn't want to walk home really late. I sort of uh, did two sets of everything and I skipped a couple stuff I mean, really not a big deal so there's the 25 and two tens and a five and another ten so yep. so now I'm gonna work my quad I'm going to do one leg at a time to work the outer quad. And I think I only use one uh, 45 pound, not on both sides, just one. Sometimes you need to do one leg at a time to make sure uh, that the legs are actually, each one of them are doing the equal amount of work. So when I'm like rushing to work out like that, I usually do things like that one leg at a time. And I think I only did two sets of ten. And that also, I, I felt it in my glutes. So if some of you have been following me on Instagram, I mean I don't mention it all the time, but. Uh, I uh, do want to improve my glutes so any little thing that I feel like you know stretching my glutes I try to incorporate it in my workout I'm not going crazy I'm not really that concerned with my glutes though taking a little break really tired after a couple repetitions you can see my back is again the against the pad for some of you who've seen some of my beginners video see it's mostly my legs that's moving I try not to move my entire body uh, to do what my legs supposed to do cardio on fire <laughs> fast for a little bit uh, and I just put a little bit more weight I put another 45 on the other side just 90 pounds so now I'm just gonna work 
both uh, both leg. I usually like to put tight underneath my pants. You know, you'll be doing some crazy moves and you don't want your pants showing your butt and stuff like that. And I don't really like to work out with long pants. Once in a while I put uh, those tights on, but uh, I don't really like to work out with long pants and things like that get tired and my body is all sweaty and it's just uncomfortable. So this is the second set. first set actually uh, my feet you know, were closer together and then on the second set I sort of spread them out a little bit more and I just did two sets nothing um, crazy so now I'm done my legs were on fire my goodness Taking a break now, and now that's I'm gonna work my uh, uh, not my quad, my calf. Sometimes it's good to do different um, positions on your workout. You know, whichever muscle fiber is being hit, that's good. But it's the same, almost the same thing that actually it's the same thing that I did on the Smith machine. This is why sometimes I don't like to uh, record my workout. You know, normally I will stop after each set. So, because the battery of the camera you know, usually don't last that long, so I will stop and um, whenever I finish my set and then stop the camera, then put it back on. So today I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna record it when, when it died, it died. So I didn't care how many things that was being recorded. So that was it. And now I'm going back to the Smith machine. Remember earlier I did single leg individually. That's just to pump blood into my legs. So, um, I did five sets, I believe of 10 individually. And uh, now I'm back to do the regular uh, routine for uh, my legs. I mean, it depends what I'm thinking of the day, um, that particular day. Sometimes I will do all, you know, different stuff on the Smith on the uh, leg extension. So now what I did here is, uh, I think I did uh, 40 pounds going really fast, and I think I did, uh, I, think I did two sets, and uh, so 40 pounds go um, going fast. And I think I did until the first one was up to 30, 30 repetitions, either 30 or 20, I don't recall. And then I put the weight to 70 pounds, and this time I was trying to do 10 repetitions going slow. My legs were exhausted, and I, I think I did only 7. 
27 repetitions. So just because I didn't reach that 10 reps that I was trying to reach, so I just lowered the weight the next round and uh, I tried to do the 10 repetition that I was trying to reach. And I did an extra set just because I didn't reach the 10. <laughs> I'm kind of anal like this when it comes to things like if I don't reach the goal that I was trying to do, I do another set just because I messed up on the on what I originally wanted to do. Just to compensate for not reaching the goal. But ideally I wanted to do just two, uh, two, repeti um, two sets. I did three instead because of I messed up on one. So this is the second uh, set. This is where I messed up. I think I did seven there. My legs were burning. And this, the first part of it was uh, 20 repetitions going really fast. starting to feel it like by the time I reach 16 reps. So now I, instead of putting 70, I think I put 60 um, so I could get that 10 repetition that I wanted but going slow. Just remember I just did a lot of other stuff before I came back to the leg extension so my leg were really feeling it. So I took a longer break this time. That's the slow pace. Okay, that's one, that's two, three, four, five. I was spilling it already. Six. It was burning. Seven. I did eight, nine, ten. I did the ten. Which one I, I did seven? I don't know. There's one set where I did only seven. Maybe it was the first one. I don't remember. I can't even walk. So I took a break. I didn't bother with the camera at all. I just go ahead and record. I didn't know, know if it was gonna last the entire workout but I just didn't wanna mess up with the groove that I was in just going to stop the camera and things like that. So there we go again. I think that was the third set. Maybe I wasn't when I was doing it I wasn't counting properly. I thought I messed up. Now that I'm looking at the video, I counted it and I did the 10 that I wanted. I don't know what I was thinking. That's where I was feeling it, where I'm touching it right now. It was burning. I took a little break. Now here's the slow part. Let's see if it's this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was this one. I messed up the last one. I did eight rep. Actually, I thought I did seven, but I did eight repetitions. I can't even move. There's a lady who was talking to me. She saw me when she was leaving. I was like, oh man, you can't walk. No pain, no gain. So I was done there. My leg couldn't do anymore, so I didn't even bother finish the ten rep. So it was the third set that I messed up. So I left it because... I, my leg can't do anymore. So now I'm doing my um, hamstring. I only did the seated one. I didn't did the one where I lay, lie down and um, 
so I'm doing each leg individually I think I did two sets of 10 for each leg and I think the weight that I put there was 40 either 40 or 35 I don't remember I, that's why I, I when I was on the Smith machine I took the camera to show the weight because usually after I did this I, I, can't, I don't remember how much weight that I put so now I'm going I'm doing both leg and I think that this one was 70 this one I'm pretty confident with it was 70 pounds doing both legs and uh, one thing I like to do with this leg extension, um, the hamstring, I like to put the uh, the pad where I push with my feet um, to the uh, last uh, set, uh, how do you call this, um, where I could get the maximum range of motion, even though it's uh, parallel to where I sit when my leg reach I try not to let it go all the way up um, so I could have you know my leg will be fighting against it from resting even though it's at the last uh, place where it's supposed to be so uh, anyway you could just see on fire so this is my second set so my leg don't go all the way up hamstring is trying to fight it from going all the way up I was done okay I was done with this so I so I went back to the uh, glute machine the reason I went back to it I after all these other re um, routines that I just did I felt like I needed to do that stretch the opposite direction so that was the only reason I did the glute machine just to do a little bit of stretching for my legs so it ended up working pretty good for both for the stretching and work a little bit extra on my glutes but I think I did two sets and I I didn't even get off the machine to I just took a little breather and then went back at it so all I didn't even get out of the machine but I did two sets for both legs I push it I, I didn't really care about the form my form is horrible right now but when I was fresh and you know when I first did it earlier I uh, you know I was focusing more on my glutes but this time I just wanted the stretch so I didn't really care about my form there see I take a little break that will be the second um, set As you can see my side is lifting but if you doing if you're really focusing on your glutes to for this machine don't do it the way I'm showing it right now right now I'm just doing this for the stretching part and I went back to the other leg take a little breather again see my whole body is lifting off the pad which is uh, not the best way of doing it and I think I have a video um, showing how to use this machine the glute machine and I was done that was my workout I could not even stand up and I didn't even do anything crazy here so now once I got home my this is my uh, heart rate belt 
and it's it needs to be tightened a little bit more and it's when I do legs you see 295 uh, um, kcal that I burnt it's not I don't think it's correct and I don't think it was uh, actually you know catching all the heart rate information um, so I'm sh just showing you know you how I some of my lags that I did for throughout the month and uh, you know every time I finish workout I once I come home I lag my information on the uh, on the computer I did this little uh, spreadsheet for my workouts and uh, the result here as you can see for two hours I did I burnt 511 just on chest and usually I don't really go crazy with chest and for legs you know 295 it's I need my mother-in-law to uh, tighten it for me it's not working properly and a couple times during the month it when I luckily I check my watch to see if it's working and it's just saying there's no signal so something is not right then once I finish like uh, the information and I did a little post-workout meal and that's uh, cream of wheat I usually boil the water with a little bit of uh, cinnamon and vanilla extract and let it cook a little bit and I put 1% milk and right after I put 1% milk and I let it harden a little bit and and then I this was so I could put the information I could easily eat it um, without weighing it and as you can see I did exactly 10 ounce 10 ounce under that so now I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, protein in there just 0.6 ounce I need I don't need too much so here it is I'm just mixing it up and then uh, that's about it and this is how I usually do some of my workouts and once I get home it's usually the same thing I mean I don't eat the same thing all the time but I like to eat that after my workout cream of wheat with a little bit of protein powder in it and uh, that's it I hope you like that video and uh, subscribe, share, and give a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks.